Alright guys, welcome back to another Opera Omnia video where we have the next OPOP where we're about to find out who is going to be our next pair of BT Plus characters that is going to be released alongside with the Transcendence number 9 in JP. And of course, they will probably be announcing a couple other things here in the next uh, few weeks of content in JP Default. So... As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, consider liking the video and subscribing for future Opera Omnia content. As soon as translations are out for what was said in this video, I will be making a separate video. So please make sure to subscribe and uh, I will get that video out as soon as I get translations uh, done. Or as soon as I get my hands on the translations that are done by our, our translators. So uh, yeah, let's check this out. Let's see what's going to happen. Always gotta clap. Always gotta clap. All right. So let's see if the rumors that were found out, uh, or I guess like the quote unquote the data mine info rumors, whatever you want to call it, let's see if they were actually true or not. Because we are getting closer and closer to the end of the LD era. It makes me wonder what exactly they are planning to do since we are pretty much right at the end in JP. New weapons here, possibly? I don't know. So, anyways, though, let's uh, go ahead and skip on through. You guys already know how we do things around here. Okay. Looks like they're going to be talking about Transcendence 9. Uh, so, there will be a, a BT and an LD feature. There will be a returning BT. And there will be an LD, I'm assuming an LD be featured in this banner as well? What the hell is that? Huh. Oh yes, and if you do beat stage 9 as part of the uh, Transcendence campaign, you do get uh, gems as well. Which should be nothing new uh, for, for those who have... Uh, have done transcendence in the past and have gotten like those like uh transcendence rewards so if you do manage to beat transcendence nine if you have beat all the previous transcendence and if you beat number nine uh you do get ten thousand gems so which is pretty low so these are the bosses that we are fighting oh god it's you okay so we're gonna be fighting you you're going to be the left gate, I, I presume. And we're going to be fighting the bears. The bears out of all the enemies in Transcendence. Ugh. Okay, that's going to be the right gate. And then the center gate is going to be this boss. What the hell? It, it looks like a reskin of the bears, except it's not a bear. It's a big bird. Huh. That's a buffed up bird. I was about to say bear. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Did they show anything else? Let's see. Oh, Sephoff is the returning BT. Ooh. Really? Okay. Okay. Sephiroth is the returning BT character. Very nice. And then what about... Oh, it is true. Yes, Vincent is getting his LD and his BT weapon in JP. Ah, yes. This is going to be so exciting. So this is about to be a straight up FF7 banner. A oh, theme banner. Banners. Whatever. <laughs> Yo, that's awesome. Huh. Yo, that's dope. Hell yeah, I'm excited. My BT tokens are ready. They are 1000% ready. So this is, a, this is this LD weapon, which I mean, you know, for those who have played Global, uh, you know, we pretty much know like what 
uh, what his LD weapon does. So, I mean, there's really no point of me, like, mentioning too much about it. Obviously, there will be big changes uh, on the JP side, seeing as how where we stand in JP is, uh, is a pretty significant change. But at least we know that, you know, at least we know, like, the basics of his LD abilities that, depending on the amount of debuffs, uh, you know, he will do his, uh, he will have his follow-up attack. Dep yeah, that's, that's what it is, right? Yeah. So, let's see what else we got. Is it, are they going to show his BT weapon? Oh, that's his BT weapon. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Very nice. Very, very nice. More details on this BT, I assume. Let's keep on going. Okay, cool. Nice. So he is getting the Turk's outfit. Uh, just like he received it in Global. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, okay. All right. Sweet. So, Sephiroth BT Plus and a and Vincent LDM BT. Oh, man. Dude, if he transforms into Chaos for the BT animation. Oh, that's going to be so fire. <laughs> oh, that's going to be so fire. Let's keep going. Uh, there's also going to be some other stuff released on the 13th as well. There are going to be uh, free pulls on, that, on, on the 13th. Uh, there, there will also be free pulls on the 15th, the 19th, and the 22nd. I know one of them is going to be the intertwined wills for, uh, who, who is it? I forget. Um, I think, it was, I think it was Edge. I think Edge is getting it. But, uh, yes, Realm is finally getting her LD weapon. Finally. Finally. So she will be getting hers on the 15th. And then that is her LD weapon. And like I said, translations will be out uh, as, as soon as possible. Uh, as soon as the translators, translators get that done, I will make a separate video about it. Okay, okay. Oh, there's some more details on it for those who do speak Japanese. Or do, uh, excuse me, who are able to read Japanese. Apologies. Okay, see what else is coming out. Ooh, it's a weapon skin, I think. Wait. Wait, is this an Ultima weapon weapon skin? Okay, that's different. Okay, I dig that. So, okay, so this is a weapon skin for the Ultima. Where the Ultima weapon slot sits on. That's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. I like that. So that they're throwing more options for uh, uh for uh, for different weapon skins. Well, not really a weapon skins. I, uh, would you call? Well, I mean, yeah, you would. I guess you can call it a weapon skin for the ultimate weapon. That's pretty cool, though. I like that. Huh. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. All right, let's keep going. Hey, we're getting stickers too for our realm. Ah, oh, look at the one with uh, her and Shadow. Oh, not Shadow. I'm sorry. Interceptor. Shadow. Why did I say Shadow? Golly, I'm tired. <laughs> Yo, these stickers are pretty fire, though. Why did I say Shadow? I don't know. <laughs> Forgive me. Sweet. Can't go wrong with stickers, baby. Ooh, nice. We got a Cactor campaign. Oh, nice. We're going to be able to get extra tokens now. Sweet. So, in between the 13th to the 29th, it looks like we'll be getting four tokens per, per day, I assume? So, we'll be getting a total of 64? I think. Six times four is uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we'll be getting about, uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, four, four tokens per day. Sweet. I will use those on the uh, on the tickets that they have. Uh, we will have the, uh, you know, the whole, like, daily, uh, you know, the psycho quest and all that good stuff as well that will pop up. Uh, Edge will be getting his uh, LD weapon on the 9th season. I believe he is the Intertwined Wills uh, character, I think. Uh, I forget. But he will finally be getting his LD, and I know he's getting a rework. That is his LD weapon. Hmm. Oh, and there's more details to his LD weapon, too. Okay, okay. Hmm. Oh, he's getting an alternate costume. Yo, that costume is dope. That is a pretty cool looking outfit. Huh. Okay, now they're about to do co-op. I know that good stuff. I don't think they're going to show anything else. So, uh, yeah. So sweet. Yeah, so Vince, so we are getting Transcendence uh, 9. And uh, with that, uh, Sephoth is going to be the returning BT Plus character. Vincent is going to be getting his LD and BT weapon, which is pretty dope. Uh, with that, uh, da, 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 he will be getting his uh, Turks outfit uh, with the release of his uh, of his LD slash BT. Uh, we are getting some free multis on the 13th. Uh, we do have three banners releasing on that day, so they will have free multis on them. Uh, and then there will be free multis on the 15th, 19th, and 22nd. Uh, Realm will be getting her LD weapon, and she will also be getting some stickers as well and we are also getting a uh ultima weapon weapon skin <laughs> which is actually pretty cool it's a pretty neat idea as well i like it i like the design actually I i'm probably gonna pick that up um but uh, yeah she is she is uh getting stickers as well and uh, we are getting a um extra tokens as well starting on the 13th up to the 29th so we'll have we'll be getting a, a total of 64 of these uh tokens for us to use on whatever and then uh, Edge will be getting his LD weapon, and he will also be getting an alternate outfit. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys are most excited about. Uh, like I said, uh, probably many, many times in this video, uh, once I get my hands on translations, I will make a separate video. So, please, uh, you know, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah. Take care, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one.